Today I've just been playing with biasing an Electret uh, microphone. Um, apparently, basically all these modern um, little um, Electret microphones come with a, a JFET uh, built in. So it's a single JFET transistor which it can be biased for uh, amplifying the uh, output of the mic. And um, so all you need to do is supply basically put a, uh, a resistor in there and apply a bias voltage. Um, so this is the configuration that they use. So there's a, the um, built-in microphone and then this single uh, JFET with this uh, resistor which put, puts the uh, microphone in a, a common source configuration. Um, so all you need to do is apply uh, this bias voltage um, and then the JFET will amplify the voltage on its uh, gate and produce uh, an output voltage here which will need to be capacitively coupled. Um, anyway, I kind of just rigged this up to play around with it and um, hooked it up to my scope because I thought it would be kind of fun. Um, you'd need to capacitively couple it obviously normally but I just have my um, scope in AC coupling mode uh, to test that out, so I thought I'd show a quick kind of demonstration um, which kind of shows the FFT functionality on my scope. Uh, so, and off. Um, so here is the scope output. And I'm just, I found this free online tone generator and uh, you can see really clearly on the FFT um, the response of the microphone which is kind of cool. Um, see where it peaks. So that's peaking at um, 5 kilohertz, uh, and uh, yeah, you could just it works really. It's really easy and works very well. Um, on this scope, I've obviously this is a Wave Runner um, 6050, um, which has uh, FFT built in. So I've got the FFT uh, set up on channel one, uh, centered. Uh, one kilohertz, so it's just really the right hand side that's doing anything useful and then one kilohertz of division um, and then just to clean things up a bit uh, I applied this is this is kind of I think the LaCroix version of boxcar filtering uh, which is their E-Res noise filter so I just whacked that up as far as I could and, and pushed the bandwidth down to get a nice clean uh, trace for the FFT. But yeah, it seems to work rather well and I was kind of pleased um, that I could see so clearly on this scope. So there we go.